Hi, this is Mark, and we're at a Museum Naturalis. Right now, we're at the future home of our native plants nursery. What we want to do is we want to grow native plants and trees and give them away to reforest the island and help restore habitat. Today, we've got a very special tree. It's the red mangrove. The red mangrove is one of the most important trees on St. Martin. They're a key species in our wetlands. They live at the edge of ponds and at the coast, and they do a lot of things for us. Their roots hold leaves and dirt so that they don't go out to sea and we have clean seas. Red mangroves also reduce erosion. They absorb the wave energy and they hold the land so it doesn't get torn out to sea. You may be wondering, how do you grow a red mangrove? What happens is, red mangroves create something called a propagule. And it's a little bit like a seed or a little bit like a seedling. And it grows on the tree, falls into the water, and then they float around until they find a place to grow. That means you can find these in places near the water, like on the beach. I collected several hundred of these propagules on the beach. Some of them are old, some of them are a little bit dried out. I don't know how many of them are gonna grow, but we're gonna do a little experiment and find out. If we find that we can grow these successfully, then we can have an almost a limited source of new mangroves to use in habitat restoration. Some of our propagules are clearly doing pretty well. This one has already started growing a leaf. So that one I think is gonna survive really well. Some of them have been on the beach a little too long. This one is all dried up. I'm almost positive that it's not gonna grow. A lot of the other ones are in between though. They're still green, but they're also, you can feel that they've dried out a little bit. So if we put these in water, will they rehydrate and start growing again? That's what we wanna find out. I put these red mangrove propagules in water yesterday. I weighed them before I put them in water and then I weighed them after and they've increased in weight about 25%, probably because they've started to absorb some of the water. What I've read is that if you have ones in fresh water or salt water, it's better to keep them in the same kind of water and if you switch very quickly, it can shock them. These were on the beach in no water so I'm doing some in fresh water, but I'm also gonna do some in seawater because later when we wanna transplant them, we might put some in areas where there's fresh water and some in areas where there's seawater. So we don't wanna shock them at that point. So we're gonna do a little bit of a mix and have um, some, some fresh water and some seawater. And we can also see if some of them do better than others. In order to do this, what I'm gonna do is put the mangroves roots down in this pot that way I know that the root side is gonna be in the water and the tops of them are gonna be out of the water, which is our ideal situation. Red mangroves, you can submerge the roots and that's one thing that makes them so special, but you don't wanna submerge the entire plant um, or else it'll just kind of drown. Then I'm gonna put this whole pot in here and then I have this seawater so that we can have this will be our seawater, salt water mangroves. And it looks like we're gonna have just enough water to make sure that all the roots are submerged but all the tops are still out of the water. Just beautiful. As we finish up, we're gonna leave these in the water and we're gonna check back in later to see how they're doing. Hopefully a lot of them will have started to recover and grow. If that's true, that means we can actually go out on the beach, collect more propagules, and start to have a constant supply of red mangroves to use in reforestation of wetlands. And if that's true, we can also maybe get your help. You could go to your local beach and keep an eye out for these propagules. It's really easy to see them and to pick them up, and then we might be able to have lots of new mangroves on St. Martin. Thanks, bye. Oh wow, look at all these propagules.